welcome to your digital classroom study with Sudhir. I am T.S. Sudhir and on popular demand from a lot of students, we are going to tell you how to score high marks in the ICSE class 10 biology exam. And with me is Tejasuni Uma Sudhir who cleared the exam in the year 2019. So she has gone through the entire process, knows exactly what it needs in order to score very high marks. And when I say high marks, I'm talking about in the range of 95 to 100 for sure. And it is possible. So Tejasuni, like we did for maths, physics and chemistry, let's talk about which are the books that you need to refer to when you're talking about biology. So I think the main book that uh, each one of you has to do is uh, Concise because it prepares you thoroughly for every single answer both in section A and section B. After you're thoroughly finished with uh, preparing from Concise, I would suggest you do together with because it has very uh, good exercises, very good questions, uh, similar questions come in your uh, exam as well and also some extra information which will be useful to you. So, as many of you have asked to read from which books you need 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 to read from which books you the 10 year board papers extremely important you need to refer to all the 10 year board papers in order to know one the format of the question paper aur isse aapko puri tarah se abhyas bhi ho jayega to isse aapko kafi madad bhi milegi pura practice ho jayega iske sath sath now let's uh, tejaswini let's now look at how to approach the preparation because now we are talking about being in january so they have about a month and a half before the real test begins so what should they really study what should be the approach like vis-a-vis -vis biology okay so first of all uh, you cannot skip any chapter because section a mein pura mix up karke aata hai most of it is objective but sab kuch almost every topic in your syllabus is covered in section a so you cannot skip any chapter diagrams सबसे ज़्यादा important in your exam because see diagrams uh, both section A में आ सकता है section B में तो compulsory uh, हर almost every second question has a diagram uh, the, uh, either picture based questions or uh, that you have to draw the diagram label diagram draw करके आपको uh, answer लिखना पड़ता है so uh, diagrams are very important I would suggest you practice each and every diagram in your syllabus go through every picture every diagram that is given in your textbook because see they will either ask you to draw the diagram or they will say uh, they will give you the diagram and they will say ki label the parts 1, 2, 3 ko label karo uh, or diagram based questions for instance in last year's uh, March 2019 paper biology uh, question paper there was this uh, uh, picture given of uh, uh, a picture which uh, depicted water pollution and then there were 5 bits that were related to the picture that you know identify the type of pollution name one pollutant that causes the pollution now you have to answer all these things so you will have to identify the picture so this is necessary that you have to you go through look at all the diagrams very very carefully is the mota mota advice that Tejaswini is giving Teju the other thing is that do they also need to color if some diagram is required do they need to carry color pencils and color the no coloring is not necessary because you have 8 students you have science students so coloring is not required a black pencil sharpened good pencil draw and label it and you will get full marks you don't need to color it now in section B in almost every question every second question in almost every question every second question there is a question the fifth bit is about about drawing you know suppose a cross section of a kidney or in botany suppose seeds all the things you need to draw all the things you need to draw otherwise in last year's paper there was a picture given of one of our in human evolution there are different pictures of different ancestors right that is something which comes quite often so whether it is Ramapithecus or Neanderthal man you need to be able to identify so for that you have the textbook the kind of diagrams and the figures the photographs that yes. have been given usko aap achhi tarah se identify kar lijiye aur wahan par confuse mat hoiye ki ye kaun sa uh, yeah because uh, based on the uh, picture they will ask you uh, ask you the features of that person so it's important that you go through every picture in your textbook also diagrams 
know which diagrams is supposed to draw whether it's the longitudinal cross section of a, of the kidney or botany me experiments hmm. experiments based questions aate hain they either uh, give you the experiment draw the experiment uh, uh, they give you a picture of the experiment and ask you questions based on that or they then ask you to draw the experiment for example oxygen photosynthesis uh, experiment such experiments is supposed to know how to explain it also how to draw it is important okay so ye to ho gayi as far as diagrams is concerned so you need to do two things i'll repeat फॉर योर बेनिफिट कि आप पुस्तक में जितने भी डायग्राम्स हैं उसको अच्छी तरह देख लीजिए जो कंसाइज की बुक है तो उसमें आप देख लीजिए आइडेंटिफाई कर लीजिए सो दैट यू विल बी एबल टू रिमेंबर इट वाइल यू आर आंसरिंग नंबर टू प्रैक्टिस प्रैक्टिस एज मच एज पॉसिबल ताकि आपका जो डायग्राम हो वो बहुत साफ सुथरा हो नीट रहे और एक शार्प पेंसिल के साथ बिल्कुल नीटली और एबल टू डिपिक्ट वॉट इज आस ऑफ यू इन द एग्जामिनेशन पेपर ये तो हो गया अभी हम पेपर की बात करते हैं तो सेक्शन ए में एज यू सेड इट्स ऑल कंपलसरी सेक्शन बी में छः में से आपको चार सवालों का उत्तर देना है सेक्शन ए इज फोर्टी मार्क्स एंड इट्स ऑल ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन एज फार एज टाइम मैनेजमेंट इज कंसर्न आई वुड से मैनेजिंग सेक्शन ए वुड बी प्रिटी ईजी बिकॉज सी इट्स ऑब्जेक्टिव इट्स लाइक यू नो ऑलमोस्ट वन वर्ड आंसर और मैक्सिमम लाइन and uh, give reason 3 to 4 lines so then uh, section a try to finish as far uh, uh, it's a 2 hours paper right so try to finish section a within 45 minutes and then keep the rest for section b section b bhi may bhi section b may bhi utne long answers to aate nahi hai par there are answers where diagrams bahut sare rehte hain and four question attempt karne padte hain so i i would say at least 40 to 45 minutes for section a and uh, rest for section b and then please leave 5 to 10 minutes buffer time so that you can uh, check the entire paper and you are also saying that you should attempt an extra in this yeah case. i would uh, because see say, uh, biology paper is more uh, is very short answers you are not expected to give you know long answers like a history so uh, so i would say that you डू अटेम्प्ट इन एक्स्ट्रा क्योंकि बाई चांस आपने कुछ लेबल नहीं किया हो डायग्राम में या फिर कुछ भी छूट गया हो सेक्शन बी में एक्स्ट्रा प्लीज ट्राई टू अटेम्प्ट एटलीस्ट फाइव आउट ऑफ दोज सिक्स क्वेश्चन इज वॉट तेजस्वी इज सेंग सो डायग्राम्स की बात की हमने किस तरह से फॉर्मेट वी हैव टू डू अबाउट वॉट टू अटेम्प्ट फर्स्ट एंड वॉट टू अटेम्प्ट लेटर दैट इज अनदर थिंग विच वी ऑल्सो नीड टू लुक एट वॉट आर द अदर टिप्स दैट यू वुड रियली लुक आउट फॉर Uh, while giving to uh, in terms of the answer format yeah. is there something which they need to look out for while they are answering okay so uh, biological reasons give biological reasons for the following section a mein bhi aata hai section b mein bhi aata hai mm-hmm. abhi ye reasons ke liye 2 to 3 uh, to r uh, 2 to 3 lines need to be given proper biological reason has to be given for instance uh, suppose uh, question hai ki acid rain is harmful to the environment abhi aapko point it's better that you write in points because uh, is तरह से एग्जामिनर विल बी एक्जैक्टली एबल टू मार्क यू फॉर द पॉइंट्स यू हैव रिटन सो सपोज दिस एसिड रेन इज हार्मफुल टू द एनवायरमेंट यू हैव टू टॉक अबाउट एसिड रेन की व्हाट आर द केमिकल्स इन्वॉल्व्ड एंड व्हाट हार्म डज इट कॉज क्रॉप्स गेट्स गेट्स स्पॉइल्ड एंड मॉन्यूमेंट्स का का भी नुकसान होता है ऐसे यू विल हैव टू राइट इन पॉइंट्स 2 3 2 2 3 पॉइंट्स नीड टू बी रिटन फॉर यू टू गेट मार्क्स एंड इन एंड इन सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस देयर आर लॉट्स ऑफ सब सेक्शंस व्हिच आर आस्क्ड सो Please make sure that you are getting the numbering right. You know, one, two, three. Numbering may confuse. Because there are many sub bits for every yes. question. Yes, it may confuse now. Yeah, it may confuse now. Hope please uh, leave a line bef- uh, after every question so that it's very clear to the examiner that is is bit ke liye ye answer hai. You know, so that uh, there's no confusion. Okay, and in case if they are asking you the location of the organ in any of the systems uh, chapters, write the location. Don't write the function. If they ask you the the function, yeah. write the function. Don't write the location. Don't get confused in reading the question paper. Read it twice carefully so that you don't know exactly what is being asked. Yeah, and of please you. use textbook language. जब आपको location पूछ रहे हैं तो आप exactly ये casually मत लो लिखो कि वहाँ you know it's play. Don't give general locations. Give the exact location which is given in your textbook. the other thing is about the match the following you were mentioning about how you should not do it like the way you do it in a comic book about isko aise line draw karke you need to be yes suppose very clear. Uh, you know in column a and column b ki uh, column a ka ek uh, uh, one of the options likho or the correct option has to be written beside so you you can't like um, draw lines and all that hyphen uh, likh ke you're supposed to write a uh, question answer question answer has to be written in that way hmm. and uh, functions 
uh, write the exact function one function is uh, n because it's just one mark if there are two functions please write two functions hmm. um, uh, for instance amniotic sac uh, if there are five functions say given in the textbook write two functions the other thing is that be very careful about your spelling see they ask you the full form of dna you need to be very clear about what is the spelling of the full form of dna don't make spelling mistakes and also another thing which you need to keep in mind and that can happen to everyone aap sabhi ke sath ho sakta hai biology ka exam is the last exam on the 30th of march right to aapko ek tarah se jaldbazi hogi khushi hogi ki sare pariksha khatam ho rahe hain us chakkar mein last pariksha ko aap kharab na kijiye put as much effort as you would have put in the earlier chemistry maths history civics geography every exam don't get excited just because it's a last exam and that you're going to get, go for a party after it is 1 o'clock on the 30th of march so be very careful about these small small things that can actually affect yes. how you think at that particular और सेक्शन ए में मोस्ट ऑफ दट इज ऑब्जेक्टिव आपको सपोज फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स है तो यू डोंट नीड टू राइट द एंटायर क्वेश्चन एंटायर स्टेटमेंट बस आंसर लिखना बस है फॉर इंस्टेंस चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन डोंट जस्ट राइट कि फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन के लिए ए है आंसर ऐसा नहीं होता यू सपोज टू राइट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन के लिए ए है आंसर और जो आंसर है सपोज आंसर इज आर ट्री सो यू सपोज टू राइट आर ट्री आप ऐसे मत छोड़ दीजिएगा ओके सो दो टिप्स विच आई होप यू फाइंड इट यूजफुल when you are dealing with the biology exam also uh, uh, in rewrite the statements uh, don't uh, you have to notice which word is underlined in the question suppose yes. question hai ki uh, the protective sac which develops around the developing embryo is called pericardium is given in the question paper अभी पेरिकार्डियम इज अंडरलाइंड आप कोई और वर्ड को चेंज नहीं कर सकते यू आर सपोज टू चेंज ओनली पेरिकार्डियम एंड यू आर सपोज टू राइट द करेक्ट आंसर व्हिच इज एम्नियोटिक सैक सो बी वेरी केयरफुल ऑफ दिस डोंट ट्राई डोंट ट्राई टू बी स्मार्ट बाय राइटिंग दैट सपोज क्वेश्चन इज किडनी इज कंपोज्ड ऑफ अ नंबर ऑफ न्यूरॉन्स ये मत लिखेगा किडनी इज कंपोज नॉट कंपोज ऑफ न्यूरॉन्स ऐसे नॉट डोंट ट्राई टू बी स्मार्ट अंडरलाइंड वर्ड उसी को आपको चेंज करना है डोंट ट्राई टू चेंज एनी अदर पार्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस डोंट गेट ओवर एम्बिशियस चेंज व्हाट इज आस्ट ऑफ यू रीड द क्वेश्चन वेरी केयरफुली उसमें आप गलती बिल्कुल मत एंड जेनेटिक्स द चैप्टर आई एम श्योर मेनी ऑफ यू मस्ट बी फाइंडिंग इट डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज जेनेटिक्स इज स्लाइटली जो थोड़ा हटके है पोर्शन से सो जेनेटिक्स वन क्वेश्चन कम्स फॉर श्योर इन सेक्शन बी सेक्शन ए में भी आ सकता है पर सेक्शन बी में यू नो प्यूनिट स्क्वायर एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट कम सो बी लर्न जेनेटिक्स वेल ड्रॉ अप यूनिट स्क्वायर वेल एंड do it very meticulously in fact i think there is any biology kind of tests you completely it kind yes. of gets has questions from almost every chapter to isme aap pick and choose nahi kar sakte ki ye chapter main chhod deta hu ya kam padhta hu ye chapter mein zyada concentrate karta hu every nook and corner of your textbook chhota choti se choti cheez se question aa sakta hai kyunki they can just pick out from anywhere so so you can't be leave out anything in section a or section b mein ek tarah se they cover the entire book in that sense so you cannot afford to leave out anything so biology is a examination is a paper where is a subject where you need to concentrate a lot kafi mehnat karni padti hai aur isme kafi sare chote chote details hote hain to chote chote details ke liye aap jitna zyada while you are reading it keep a rough notebook with you keep writing the words also isse do cheeze hongi ek to aapko yaad rehne mein bhi zyada hoga because every time you write something the chances of your remembering are better number 2 also it will ensure that you get the spellings right ye do fayde honge agar aap likh ke kare to keep a rough notebook with you while you are having the textbook taki you can keep practicing this spellings and the particular phrases or the words that will always help you is a kafi fayda hoga so that's it any other gyan to give i think uh, the uh, with this you'll be fully prepared to write your biology examination biology is an examination you can actually score a 100 yeah so you can score a 100 it. if you do it perfectly you have you have everything on your fingertips i think you'll be all prepared to get a 100 on 100 in biology so last ball pe last exam me 100 marna century marna that should be your goal on the 30th yes. of march okay so all the best to you do subscribe to study with sudhir also press on the bell icon because we are going to con- continuously post a whole lot of videos which will be useful to you in the run up to the examination which is starting in the last week of february so do subscribe do press on the bell icon like and share the video and spread the word with as many of your friends and classmates as possible thank you very much and all the best to you